Folks, this is with great sadness that I make this video blog. I really didn't want to be frank with you for a time, but Dr. Jerry Bluss, the owner of the LA Lakers, died after a bout with cancer. He was just 80 years old. And I say that because people live to be 90 and 100 and you know, you have parents close to that age, it just it just scares you. At any rate, Dr. Buss built the Los Angeles Lakers as we know them today. He bought the Lakers in a complicated transaction in 1979. He bought the Lakers, the Los Angeles Kings, the Foreman in Inglewood in a 13,000-acre ranch for $67 million in, in what is called by some the most complicated transaction in sports history, at least one of them. He was one of the first to bring a naming rights deal to sports, to the NBA, when he got Great Western to put its name on the forum. He was one of the first to form a dancing team, the Laker Girls. In short, Dr. Buss got that basketball, particularly with the advent of cable television and the 500 channel universe and sponsorships and the old field of sponsorships really didn't start growing until the 80s where a corporation will slap its name on your basketball product or at least some part of it for in exchange for you're getting from them millions of dollars Dr. Buss saw that and used that business strategy to help grow the Lakers into the one billion dollar franchise that it's valued at today on top of that, Dr. Buss saw the magic in Urban Magic Johnson, made him a Laker for life, and then brought in Shaquille O'Neal and Kobe Bryant and 10 NBA championships led by Phil Jackson and the master of Showtime, Pat Riley. So Dr. Buss and his daughter Jeannie, who is a key executive with the Lakers, just, uh, you can't imagine the Lakers without Dr. Buss and the Buss family. Um, may he rest in peace. It's a very, very, very sad day. Very sad day.